Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Firebase real-time database in your Django project. So we're going to be using the Firebase database as the backend database or as the storage, as our database storage in our Django project. You know, normally in Django, we use Postgres SQL Lite for our database for storing data. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Firebase. Now, if you don't know what Firebase is, Firebase is a cloud, it's like an online platform where they have different products um, like the real-time database, the storage, and some other things there. So we can also use that as our database if you don't want to use Postgres or any other one. And it's also NoSQL. It's an online NoSQL database. So all you need to do this, first of all, let me show you what I've done. Um, I just created this project, this new Django project, and what I did, I just um, came to the views.py and I created this function which is index, and then in the URLs, I just created one URL, and the URL I also created was index URL, as you can see right here, and in the settings page also, I also configured the template file right here so django knows where our templates are located as our html and then right here in the template i have uh, one html file named index.html so basically i just did the url mapping and the template rendering and as you can see i'm running the project on the local host now this project is not connected to any database by default django uses sqlite but uh, we want to use firebase so this video is just going to be a very simple um, database connection just to add something to our database and then showcase it here in our project so first of all let's head over to firebase and then do some configuration there so right here so this is firebase um, you go to console.firebase.google.com and then if you haven't let's say checked firebase before google is going to show you like welcoming page or something like that but i already have firebase i've been using it for a while so what i just need to do now is to create a new project so i'm creating a new firebase project and then i can just name it tests so now that i name it tests i'll hit continue and then it's asking to add google analytics to my project i don't need it but i just hit continue so i select my own account create project and then it's going to take a few seconds to create this project so what it's doing is adding all the product they have which is the the storage the database everything i talked about is providing all the resources as you can see into the project you just created so when we're done with this i'm gonna walk you through around the platform and then you sh i'll show you how to integrate it into your django project so this is almost done so as you can see it says your new project is ready let's hit continue automatically it redirects us to the dashboard of that project so as you can see with firebase right here you can connect this same project to your ios app android app your web app which we're going to be using in this video and if you are building games with unity you can also use it so as you can see it makes things very very easy uh, like if we have a database right here that we're using for our web app Let's say we want to create an Android app for this same project later in the future. We can just easily integrate it using Firebase since it's still the same database, if you understand what I mean. But now, what we just need to do, since we're working with web, which is Django, we're going to click on that web icon. And now it says add Firebase to your web app. So um, let me just give the web app a nickname. I'll say test web. And then now I don't need Firebase hosting, so register up. And yeah, so that's done. Now it gives us this um, code. Now let's just copy it. We're gonna need it. All this data here, we're gonna need it. So let's continue to the console. So right here, we already have that created. If I refresh this page now, you are going to see that it's going to show me um, the app I just created right here, test web. So now I'm going to head over to real time database. This is what I need. Now, so I'm going to create a new database. I just leave the country like that next. And then now I want to use test mode. Now, test mode is because I'm still in production. 
not yet a, it's not like a product that i'm gonna launch so for most sec for security reasons you can put locked mode that's when you are done with um with building your project basically so read and write is false so nobody can just tap into your data but for now let's leave it in test mode so we can access this now we click enable and this should do within a second yeah so right now it has created a new database for us so what i just want to do now is to add some demo data i'm just gonna click on add and then let me just name this data and then i want to i can give it a value let's say data and it can have like but i want this data to be like a dictionary picture it like a dictionary data then i'll add another child and then let's say name so i want to have a data of my youtube channel so name code with tommy and then let's add another child subscribers 3.5k and um type let's say channel type coding tutorials so i have this i'm going to click on add so right here you can see we have this so it it gives us our database in like a tree format so it is you can also sh showcase it in like a table format if you want i know i'm very sure there's a way of doing that but it gives us our database in a tree format as you can see we have this data under it this like the children so name is like a child under data subscriber is a child under data it's the same thing as type so now we have this data in our online database our firebase database basically now i want to implement this into my django project i want to get all this data in my django project so what i just need to do you remember the code I said we should copy. So I'm just gonna open a new tab and then let me open try it editor. So um, I'm not playing this for any specific reason, just to accept. So just to paste all this, this code that we got when we created the web app, if you remember, I said we should keep this code. So I'm gonna use this now. So let's leave this here and then let's come back to our project now what we need to do to be able to connect these two together firebase and django we need a python library and that python library is called pyrabase i honestly don't know how to pronounce it but it's called p-y-r-e-b-a-s-e -E. so let's quickly install that without wasting any time so yeah my terminal should pop up Okay, let's see. Let's come to Python. Okay. Yeah, so that is opening. Okay, 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 okay. So right here is obviously the index where everything is gonna be show. I'm gonna be showcasing all the database like a normal HTML page. So right here, my terminal is done, and I'm just gonna say pip install Pyrabase. And this, so I'm gonna click on enter. And then this command line should ins install Pyrabase for me. And, um, okay, that should actually be Pyrabase 4 so let me just opt out of that yeah 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 so i'm gonna say pip install pyrabase 4 so that's the name of the library pyrabase 4 so once i have that installed i can go ahead with what i'm doing and i already have this installed so in a second i should get requirement already satisfied now let's wait okay um scroll down so as you can see it says requirement already satisfied i have that installed already so let's just close up this terminal and then we have our urls set up obviously our index so right here in our views what we just need to do is to import that library i just installed so what i'm just gonna do now is say import 
power base so now i have this imported and i'm just gonna say config equals to the so it's just gonna like a python dictionary so this is all the configuration files and everything i'm gonna be needing is gonna be right here so right here all this so i can also just copy all this and paste it so this is everything i need so i need my api key the auth domain the database url i need the database url which is not here but we're gonna get that also in a second so the api key auth domain the project id storage buckets the messenger id the app id so i don't need the measurement id i'm gonna get that out so that's what we need and then we also need our database url so to get our database url we're gonna have to come back to firebase right here and then i'm gonna go to settings and go to project settings so if i scroll down right here i'm gonna see database url so i'm gonna copy that and then head over to vs code and then below at domain can be anywhere but I'm just gonna paste this right here and give it a tab yeah so now we have all these but you know that this is a python dictionary and um, all these needs to have the quotations the parentheses so i'm just gonna put all this here and then give it some parentheses so now we have all this we have the configuration file so we need to uh, authenticate this so that firebase we know that i'm the owner of all this so i'm just gonna have a variable named firebase and then it's gonna be equals to firebase dot initialize app exactly and i'm going to initialize with this config dictionary config nice so now i'm gonna say what's e should be equals to firebase dot auth good and then database should be equals to firebase dot database just like that so now we have all the information we need from our database like this everything is stored in this database variable all the database in this so let me quickly go back there so all the data we have in this database is now stored in this variable because of all the configuration we did so now we can access that in our index function so what i can just do now i can just come down here and i'm just gonna say let me say uh, name or channel name channel underscore name so what i want to do i want to access each of this data and then save it as a variable here right here in my project so i'm gonna say data name will be database which is this database as i explained dot child from the data so now this data is a child under this database this database is the root of everything so i'm saying from this database dot child which is data then i'm going to say dot child again which is name i want to get the value so i have to say dot child again and then now i can say name like this and now i can just say dot get so now i just want to get the value dot val like this so now i have the channel name stored in that variable i'm going to do exactly the same thing for the remaining two which are the subscribers and the type of the channel so let me just copy paste and i'll say channel type 
I'm going to say database.child, which is data.child again, which is type. And then I want to get the value. And then the same thing for the channel subscribers. I'm just going to say channel subs. So database.child.data.child. And I think I named it as subscribers. As subscribers so now that I have all these what I can just do is to send it to my HTML to my template file just like normal so I can do this right here and then I can just say channel name should be channel name and the same thing the channel type should also be the channel type and then for the last one the channel subscribers should also be the channel subs so now I have all these taken to my index.html so this is everything we did here I'm just gonna save it in my index right here let's use some django templating so first of all let me just have an h1 saying let me close that so i'm just gonna say firebase data like that and then mm, let me give it p and say channel name is I can just say channel underscore name which is this variable that we passed so channel name and then same thing for channel type so channel I can change this to type and then channel subs so exactly everything is working and if i bring my terminal up this is running also so let me get back there so now if i come and open up my project on chrome let's do that quickly and then yeah that should open up in a second so we should have all our data should, yeah nice so say firebase data channel name is code with tommy channel name is coding tutorial <laughs> channel name is 3.5k so let's just nothing official but channel subscribers so back there it refresh now so channel name is code with Tommy, channel type is coding tutorials and channel subscribers is 3.5k presently so it has subscribe button so we can boost it up you understand um so right here we have all these and if we come back to our firebase and let's say we increase the channel subs to like 10k and we hit enter and change that we come back here and hit refresh you see now that this is 10k so our database for this project is this firebase database right here so that's how to basically implement or integrate firebase database into your django project it's very easy it's very simple and it's also a very good alternative for building projects with django actually and then you can also do some more complex stuff some more advanced stuff with this like you can authenticate with firebase you can you know from your app a user can add a data and it's going to be saved here and then you can just also get the data back here is you can do anything with firebase with anything actually so and not only django you can use it for your android app as i showed you earlier you can use it for anything you are doing so i love firebase personally and yeah i guess that's all for this video so thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one